Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to show you how to reset ABS traction light. Also, advanced track light is the same thing. Uh, on, a 2004, on a 2014 Ford Fiesta, this procedure should work on most Fords. Um, anyways, watch what happens when I start the car. I have my ABS light that started flashing my traction control light on that skid looking uh, like car skidding looking sign also I have a message hill start assist not available anyways um, I know for a fact my codes are soft codes because I was the one that caused them to come on when I was working in the car I tripped it and it came on um, if you have a hard codes you will have to fix the problem first um, it will not reset but anyways I've did a lot of research and you need the scan tool there is no procedure that's uh, really available you can find online how to reset it um, but I do know one way that you could reset it without scan tool and I want to share that with you uh, anyway here's what's going here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead um, I'm actually before I do tell you the procedure I'll tell you that disconnecting the battery and a lot of you might even leave that in the comments disconnecting the battery and maybe uh, taking positive and negative terminal hold them together for five minutes or so that will also not reset. Um, this is actually stored in the computer. It's not like check engine where you can disconnect the battery cable and uh, and that will wipe it out. Uh, there is a way to wipe it out and I'll show you in just a second. So what we're gonna do, the car is currently running and uh, my ignition is, is on, the car is running, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn ignition off, all right? We, we, I'm going to turn ignition on so all my lights come on but the car don't start, okay? And then I'm gonna go and disconnect my battery for about five minutes while ignition stays on. So let's go underneath the hood. Okay, we're underneath the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my negative battery terminal. Like I said, while ignition stays on, it has to stay on. If you turn ignition off and you disconnect the battery, good luck nothing's going to happen so I'm gonna okay so I'll leave that off for approximately five minutes and uh, we'll come back and I'll reconnect it and then when I reconnect don't forget my ignition is on so when I get inside the car that should uh, wipe out all the codes because if you turn ignition off and remove the battery cable for one or another reason um, it saves the codes and they're they're back on the dash. I already tried that. So this is the only method that works All right, so five minutes went by or so now. I'm gonna take my negative terminal. I'm gonna connect it You'll hear throttle body going off and things like that. It's all normal and I'm gonna retighten the My negative battery terminal it's nice and tight this will reset all your soft codes so if you have um like in you know abs i'm showing you if you just disconnect your battery and connect it back up the it would stay on so this is the only way that it would reset your abs light on ford but if you do have a hard code you got to fix the problem first this will not work for you so if you do this and it doesn't work then you have other problems that you got to fix but anyway so as a matter of fact i had ABS flashing and traction on check this out. I'm back in the car my ignition still on My ABS and traction is gone. No more message So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car off and start the car Okay, all my lights on as you saw my ABS and traction light came on went off and it's gone It's history no more message, it says hood open and driver's doors open, but no more hill assist message on my on my screen. Alright, so that's how you reset ABS traction control on 2011 through 2017 Ford Fiesta. This should work on any Ford without a scan tool. Otherwise, you'll have to pay the dealership... Um, I don't know, 115 or 120 bucks. I'm not sure how much for it is right now an hour. 
to reset this thing for you. Plus, they'll tell you a whole bunch of baloney stories that you need new ABS and things like that. So this will only work for soft codes if you tripped it and you know for sure your system is fine you just need to reset it this will work um, otherwise you will have to repair an issue if there is a hard code in the system this will not reset ABS and traction once again thanks for watching this was George with Melnix Automotive